Hi everyone, Ant Canada here. Welcome to the Ant Canada Ant channel and yet another Ant video. For today's video, I wanted to show you our Ant Canada Hybrid Nest 2. It's a new version that we'll be releasing soon. It's actually an improved version of our original Hybrid Nest, which you've seen in our past videos. And there are a few changes. For one thing, you'll see that it's more of a brown color now. We will offer both white and this new brown color. We wanted to add brown as an option because some ants tend to keep their nests rather dirty, especially if they create a bathroom area. So the brown just helps it look more aesthetically pleasing and perhaps makes it even more dark inside. So what I've done is I have connected the old hybrid nest, which is here, to the new hybrid nest, um, as you can see through a tube here. One thing you might notice about the new hybrid nest is there's an entrance here, an entrance here, an entrance here, and one you can't see that's there, but that's being blocked by cotton right now. So what I've done is I've placed the new nest in the middle of the old nest and the outworld, so that ants coming from both sides will eventually meet within the hybrid nest or their new formicarium, forcing them to kind of explore this interior here. So I'm just going to lift the lid now. You'll see that it's kind of white on the edges here, and that's because I just added Elmer's school glue to glue the nest to the glass. Um, but that will eventually go away. All of that white will kind of become transparent tomorrow. Um, so the glue is still kind of drying, but it's okay because school glue is non-toxic and should be safe for ants. I'm not worried. Sorry guys, don't mind the drilling that you hear in the background there's construction and renovations that are happening at my place okay so um as you can see here you have the old colony they're bigger than when i first moved them in um and they've you'll see there's a little bit of sand they've moved around i've blocked all entrances well there were only two in the old hybrid nest so i've blocked um this entrance here with cotton and then i've connected this entrance to that to our new hybrid nest and the ants have discovered the new hybrid nest now. Now one thing I do need to do is I need to hydrate this hybrid nest so that it's nice and moist and dark. Really ideal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hydrate the hybrid. You might be asking what I'm using. Well, I'm using one of those ketchup squirty things to hydrate and I'm using purified water. Why? Because I'm picky and my ants deserve the best. Okay, so now what I've done is I've added some light, a light bulb, an incandescent light bulb over the old formicarium, which is the hybrid nest, the old version of our hybrid nest that you see here. Um, and I've also removed the bottom portion of the hybrid nest um, that usually goes underneath this hybrid nest. See, you can have a look at it here. Ew, so dirty. Ants can be really dirty. Um, and of course that cotton can be changed. But I've removed that bottom portion so that the current nest they're in stays nice and dry. Um, I want this whole area to become really dry and warm just so it becomes less desirable for the colony to live um, in. And then they will eventually discover that this new formicarium here, the new hybrid nest that I have connected for them, is a more desirable place to live. Looks like more and more ants are coming in. And if you look more towards the outworld side, you'll see that ants that were in the outworld when I disconnected the formicarium are now discovering the new home here at this point. And they're actually traveling back and forth between this new hybrid nest. So now it's just a waiting game from here on in. It looks like the immigration is well underway now. Look at them. Here comes the brood. When you see that the workers are starting to bring in the brood, you know for sure that the ants are uh, planning on moving out, or moving in rather.
So I'm just gonna cover this and let them continue to move. And in one hour, I'll be back and see how their progress is. All right, let's see how they're doing. Wow, they're all in there. Look at them. This is awesome. It worked exactly as planned. Don't you just love when ants do exactly what you want them to do? It doesn't always happen that way, but it did this time, so I'm very, very pleased. They've moved into their new hybrid nest now, and this is where they're going to live from now on. So when the move is complete, because it's not complete yet, I see ants still running back and forth and transporting more of the colony. Um, I'm going to disconnect the new nest and then um, who knows I might decide to plug this entrance here to something else. Um, we've got some other cool products that I can definitely use including the test tube portals which I'd like to connect there that might be nice. Anyways guys thanks so much for watching this new video. Um, be sure to subscribe and visit Ants Canada for um, all of your ant keeping needs. Um, we're releasing a new Outworld product. Yay! Finally, we're bringing our Outworlds back. And I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like in a future video. Take care, guys, and happy holidays. See you in the new year. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our new video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to check out some of our other videos on this channel. And love forever guys. Take care. Bye.